Hi folks, I wasn't going to do one today, but uh, I changed my mind. <coughs> um, I want to do a, a river parrot from memory. There's a, a lovely river in the Somerset Levels. We have a friend down there, well friends, well, he died sadly a couple of years ago. Uh, beautiful, beautiful area, but it's very prone to flooding. But there weren't any floods. Well, the, we, this was after the floods. We, we went down to the funeral a couple of years ago and uh, it was much quieter. But the Somerset levels took a real pounding from the, the amount of rain. And the water, the flood water, came up to the end of their garden, which is quite, got quite a large garden. And it came up to the edge of it. But nearby, there's a little bridge. I'm not going to paint the bridge. I'll paint the view, imagined view from from the bridge. Uh, let's just I'll put some tape on there. But the the, the, the mounts that I've got, the, the aperture is just a bit too too wide in the depth. So it's okay that way. But so I'll paint to I'll paint to the top with the paper. This is a bit of a studio practice paper. Lovely, lovely paper for doing these small, sketchy landscapes. Plenty of uh, oil. And what will happen, the oil will soak into the paper quite quickly. Uh, uh, so, uh, now uh, you can paint the sky first or you can paint the landscape first. But I'll paint the landscape first, or the trees Straight in, I'm, oh, let's just get some oil, some linseed oil from my big pot. It's good stuff, and I've mixed a little bit of a uh, bit of uh, dryer in it, help it dry. I've got to get some more of this. Right, okay, so I, I'm just using, oh, <laughs> just squeeze the oil out of my, my fingers. So, uh, go to the background, just the three primaries. Good, good dark. I'm a little bit more red in that. So a bit of a close up of the, the river that's going, going through there. Right, but then we want some good darks, you know, great darks, three colours, just the three primaries. You can go as dark as you want. Look. It's a winter scene, but plenty of green about. Oops. Just a bit warmer there. Okay. Now we'll put in a bit of the bit of the banks. Well, no, I won't do those yet. I'll do some sky now. Then you can clean, I'm cleaning the brush in the oil and then wiping it on a, dragging it through a bit of toweling. And then, so all you've got to do is clean up at the end, not at the beginning. Right, so uh, let's get a bit of, bit of bright in the sky. So a bit of, bit of cage yellow, plenty of white. So see. So then I've got it. Oil. Okay. Right. Let's have a bit of, bit of 
paint, it's a bit of uh, ultramarine. Oop. Sorry, I crashed my. I've got to lift that up a bit. I've got headphones on and it crashed through. Okay, you can see the mixing and you can see the uh, process. That's not a very good blue, is it? I probably because of, I'm going into some grey, so let's just scrape off, clean it up a bit. I'll scrape it off. Squeeze out some more white, some clean white. Right, white, clean white. Well, that's a better, better blue. So you can do that on the paper because largely it's the oil sucks out and it's left the paint sort of tacky, touch dry. I think probably a bit darker blue. Let's cover that up a bit. I want that a light streak across there, not that's too orange. Let's use this other brush. Bit of white, a uh, bit of yellow, bit of a load of white. Can have some uh, purpley stuff going in here. A bit more blue. Mix the red with the blue. You get a really, you can get a really good dark, dark mauve, good shadow colour. Now I'm darkening around that. So sense a bit of light to enhance the lightness of it. So if my head's in the way. Okay, I'll do for a minute. Let's see, get that blue, light blue on the horizon now. You can always go back to reinstate re your first wash of colour like in these uh, 
trees. It's lovely uh, painting on watercolour paper, which is quite a rough, not a rough surface, but it's, it's pitch, it's got a, it's like a grain on it, where it's been pressed. I'll get these light mauve colour. Very sort of impressionist this is turning out to be, at least in the sky. Bit of red in that. Right, I could base with some blue in there. It's, it's good fun painting in uh, Monet style. I'm not uh, equating my ability with his ability. I mean, the guy was a master. Light back up here. All right, well, okay, let's uh, carry on with that just a little bit longer. Get some light on that horizon, some winter light. Okay, let's get away from that. It looks like I'm fishing in there. Okay, the brush is. Uh, we'll go back in those lovely trees with these three primaries. And you can can go up into the sky, leaving a bit of bit of air. This is a bit of sort of orangey, ruddy colour in here. I 
I was sort of thinking this morning about why I prefer pure landscape to buildings. Well, for me, it just seems to be a natural reaction to to a natural landscape. And like unspoiled, but of course in, in the UK, nothing uh, is uh, really natural. It's all got man's fingerprint all over it. Okay, right, let's get a bit of light colour in now across, across this horizon. So we want to yellow, the red, plenty of white, plenty of oil. Now you can, you can um, increase the contrast between that and the how the uh, trees above by going in with a bit more of the blue and the red mixture on that horizon. Now I know that there were some bushes along this bit of the river, so it, it, it's not going to be entirely uh, made up, I just got a memory of, of several times sort of standing on that bridge just enjoying a February morning, well it wasn't enjoyable, I mean it was a funeral but Green back, pretty red. Maybe I'll have to start uh, using brushes at arm's length. Yeah, I, was, I think it would be a good idea if I move my blue, my, another palette with ju just the colours I'm using much closer so I don't have to keep going all over the place. Plenty of red. Compliment. All that green. A bit more dark in there though. Right up across there.
Um, we need some green back on here. some light back in mix a bit of white with a yellow So red, just sort of try to lighten this now. Now I'll get some rough up the hard edge there. Just straightening up that, leveling up that horizon. I could put some uh, nice shadows in there, in the grasses. dark green back right I'll get some Okay, that'll do for the moment. Let's go back to the three primaries. I've got to fill this area. Now, it, it has its own problems, the uh, painting with a limited palette. Oops. I was thinking of doing a smoke picture but so uh, I got carried away with that river parrot now we've got blue in that sky so it's just more grey than blue
I put some uh, some reflections over this. Get to those light colours back in here. Just put that, just get a bit of light back in here. some air back in some of that just I'm not doing any detail in this Into that water. I will put in some of that. Oh, the sun's coming out. I might have to go and ruin my values. That's it. It's a beautiful day after the lousy weather we had this week, and it's warmed up quite a bit which is good, good for the bike ride on Tuesday morning. We're going around the corner there. Right, now I'll put a bit of shadow or reflection, shall we say?
Oh, that nearly done. Just, just get a little bit more of that kind of in there. Right, look, we've got to do something with this area here. So, plenty of oil, have some shadow. like a bit of shadow here. Yeah? Right now we get some nice light greens or yellows. Put some bit of uh, grasses in there. Well, I want to get a good dark. There, so a little bit more yellow. I'm using this old tube I've had in years. I've got a big, well, a half filled 200 mil tube of it. I remember these sort of bushes along the river here. Right, so I don't uh, much more. Right, this is a bit of a bush in the foreground just to Okay, I'm going to put that in a mount, so I'm going to let that Go. I could put just a little bit of a highlighter in there, brighten it up. Okay, take that off. Oh, this killed me. Oh. Uh. Right, get them out. Let's move that over to the middle. Well, it's all going uphill there, please. Well, I'll just I'll change that. 
so it's got a little bit higher with that horizon there or oh, now I could go a bit lower with the So a bit better. Uh, got a bit of light on that left hand side. Uh, right, I think that'll do. Okay, you always tilt it in the mouth. Mm. All right, let's go go right into that. It looks like I've used a lot of colours, isn't it? But I've only used the three. I just think that could be a little bit darker in there, but I'm not going to do any more. Let's come out. Oh, I hope you like it, folks. It's, it's my love of, of pure landscape that um, dictates what I do. I, I've done buildings, I, I spent a year doing Venice, but it, it, I did that for money. It was a commission for a gallery, and I did it. And I learnt an awful lot, but I learnt that I was never going to go to Venice. <laughs> and uh, I just like trees, trees, skies, uh, and water. That's what I set out to to do. Uh, I suppose we could see so you can fuss and fiddle around all, all day with this. Uh, let's just add a little bit of bit of light. Coming through the gaps in the uh, oh well, go, oh, that's it. That's a that's me Sunday morning effort. So I'll get my brushes clean. I'll get this uploaded for you, and, uh, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.